Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our German Empire campaign here in Victoria 2 with the historical flavor mod. So, as you might notice, uh, things are a bit different because my dumbass forgot to save the game last time. So we're gonna have to revert to the latest autosave. Oh well, uh, I guess I'll just play up to the point where we were. Although I don't think I lost too much progress and yeah, it looks like they're already willing to give up. But yeah, no, 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 do not do that. Gotta wait for the whole Israel thing. So yeah, also yeah, sorry for the... Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I want to say sorry for, you know, the amount of time it's been uh, between these episodes. I don't really have an excuse. So, yeah, well, other than, like, severe RimWorld uh, addiction. And I do guess that, um, like, I have been uh, starting school again now. I'm actually going to be uh, going into, like... Like, I'm going to be a teacher at a school, which is going to be interesting. Only, like, practice teaching. But still. Quite spooky. But it should be interesting. Alright. Let's meme Israel. I'm sure I had a reason to do annexation instead of uh, puppeting. Uh, let us begin immediately on Brittany. And I guess we can be up to the French now. How lovely. Alright, cool beans. I'm actually going to keep the majority of this army here just in France, just to cheese my way into Brittany when the time comes. Mm, I guess this fleet needs to find a new home base. I'm preparing for that rebellion that happened last time, because I guess I can, <laughs> I can sort of scum that now, can't I? Although that's bad. Uh, maybe that's what I need to do, actually. Yeah, this whole... Yeah, I mean, I I know we were going to invade Israel and all, but I real quick need to yeet myself over here so that this whole puppeting Romania thing is not for nothing. Yep, yep. Uh, and I also think that I might actually have to end up opening my factories again. I'm not sure how much we have gained in terms of migration to the east with the whole strategy of, you know trying to use unemployment as an encouragement for migration. Um, but none of it seems mind-blowing. Seems that most people are just going to the New World. But if very few people are heading east, well, there are some. Yeah, it's 9%. Still though, the ethnic map could definitely look better, although eh, the settlement of France has gone very successfully. Now of course most of this has just been genocide, but still, you know. We'll wait to see how the map looks, but yeah, the basically, I guess I can restart this thing, but I, 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 because I'm so isolated uh, with the whole sanctions crap, like, I need to reopen my factories so that, um, so that I can actually make stuff. Because my, I can't get the resources I need to build build units. They're not getting any artillery and I assume I have some artillery factories so hopefully that's going to be uh, you know a thing that I can use to supply my shit. My shit being my armies. So hopefully that will work. Treaty of Paris. Here we go. Excellent. Interesting. So we can do the Siamese border treaty. Uh, for some reason. Ah, right, so France for whatever reason never got that. I guess they are sphered by the United States, so maybe... Yeah, let's hold off on that for now. And focus on the problems at hand. Yes, 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 you will take your shit. Thank you, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, you guys don't need to see this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to get this one, though, because they have cores on it, which sucks ass, but... <clears throat> oh, well. Time to show the Bretons who is boss. And or run into the army skin and get spooked. Will I have zero, like, organization when I swoop in here? No, I won't. And I'm at war with France again, really? Well, I did get all the shit, though, so I, at least we didn't interrupt that thing. Damn it, that's... That's surprising. I honestly did not expect them to... to... okay. I wonder what that will do to my truce. 
I mean, if it reduces this, reduces it. I mean, it might not be bad though. I guess maybe I can try and pick up Constantine. Oh wow, that took yeah, that didn't take too long. Um, let us quickly add Constantine though. So that's eight war score. How much for Gaia? Really? Twelve? That's rubbish. Oh well. Yeah, I guess we're not taking that then. Uh, yeah, all of the others I don't care about. I mean, I would like to give some land to Brittany, that would be funny, but sadly I don't think there's such a thing as Greater Brittany in this mod. Or in this game in general, really. So, yes. I probably should start just yeeting my guys home. Uh, we've annexed uh, these guys as well. Uh, I might actually want to postpone until I start the war with Serbia. Or postpone piecing out. I mean, I, I guess I need to do that either way, but um, I have noticed that the Serbians are actually friendly with a lot of nations, and if France decided to join to defend Brittany here, we might have to um, fight Russia and or Scandinavia, which is not super fun, but it'll have to be. So I at least want to be just a tad bit ready for that potential um, situation. Also, it looks like someone hasn't quite forgotten the Crimean War yet. Very, very well. Points for enthusiasm. Or, well, yeah, I guess it's fair to give points for that. Just because it's annoying doesn't mean that enthusiasm is not... Or, it doesn't mean that it's not enthusiasm. What am I talking about? <laughs> what I might do instead is just, uh, yeah, get rid of people who are friendly with them, because it doesn't seem like they actually care that much. Well, Russia did some shit to me, but yeah. I at least don't want to fight Scandinavia. Well, then again, maybe I should have done that, because I did want to take the colonies at some point, so maybe this would have been a good excuse for to do that. Uh, oh well. Also, can I separate piece? Ah, I probably don't have enough war score to separate piece Brittany, but if I take these, I can probably do that. Okay, but now that I do have Brittany occupied, why don't I actually separate peace with them? And then I can add Guyana. Which will be nice. Is there something neat to liberate? Nah. Give me all your colonies. You are hereby banned from having colonies. Simple as that. Then I guess we can begin the conflict with these boys. I am, yeah, I started justifying on Liberia, but I'm not super sure about that, because that would uh, potentially, or almost guaranteedly, bring us into conflict with Scandinavia, who are allied to the United Kingdom. Yeah, this could really escalate real quick. Huh. But I can't think of anyone else to invade right now. I mean, I guess I could... I fuck, I don't know. Walk it, Connet, huh? Neat name. Oh, well. Because, uh, yeah, I definitely want to take on Liberia and Scandinavia, but we are closing on, closing in on the point where we can invade Russia again, so... A part of me wants that to happen. So... Do not declare war on you? No, declare war on Serbia. Puppet that land. And that's a bit outdated. Yeah, we'll see if anyone intervenes. Also, yeah, I like how I put a bunch of troops on the Russian border, but my dumbass actually didn't put anyone on the Serbian one. Oof. Oh yeah, you need to join the war. That goes for all of you, my puppet army. Join the valiant effort against the Serbs. I guess also we can peace out with the French. There we go. Don't need that war exhaustion. Bosnia is de dealing with the Serbs here. Good, good, good. Oh, damn it. I wanna... Select your army, you lunatic. Oh, yeah, I peaced out in a war and that fucks up the whole command, the army thing. Oh, well. We have reinforcements coming in. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to release Israel. Well, at least they aren't 
that many Jews here. Oh god, there is actually. Oh fuck. Damn it, I didn't actually want to commit the Holocaust. This was supposed to be a meme campaign, but this is. this. Even I admit that this is getting a bit far. Uh, oh well, at least we don't control Jerusalem yet. Yet. We have truth with them though, so. But yeah. Uh, please don't ban me, YouTube. Kablam. Oh shit, I didn't pay attention to how many people I yeeted right there. But. Oh, that's so freaking. Oh yeah, boy. That's freaking. Uh, that's pretty freaking darn German if I, if I ever saw it. Look at that. Ooh, that is smooth. Gosh, not Amsterdam though. It's not sufficiently Germanized yet, but um, the Drag nach Osten has definitely proven a success at this point. We can do another one in um, five years. Whether or not that will even be necessary, I don't know. Oh well, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, even some of these provinces are actually majority German. It just, just, it just doesn't look like it because it, you know, the German culture is split between the north and the south one. Saint Petersburg, proper German name for city. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Oof. Oh well, that was horrifying. But uh, that's the pri That's the only way to get like a nice culture map mode in this. <laughs> Oof, indeed. Yeah, I'm preparing for war against Scandinavia. I do think I will actually go for that at this point. Give me some guards, by the way. Actually, I shouldn't be making guards, should I? Because uh, you can only have Deutsch. Uh, if I want planes, then they have to be German, so... Let's get them there. And some art team. And some infantry. I don't even know if I care about these engineers. Yeah, I don't want to build horses anymore. Something like that. Hopefully that'll be an excellent little addition to our armed forces. Okay, uh, we can peace out with Serbia. Which changed our name placement a bit, actually, huh? Yeah, we didn't, didn't fuck it up, though, but yeah. The Balkans are now under our control. Um, and I think it's finally time to actually release these lads. Ooh, state in East Angola. Sure. Sphere of Venezuela, of course. Absolutely necessary. Yeah, mostly focusing on Spain at the moment because of a certain shit nation called Scandinavia who decided to fuck or violate my sphere integrity, if you will. Um, so that's annoying. But yes. Where are you, me lads? Alexandria. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but... I thought those uh, dynamic nations weren't supposed to be in the game even, but... Anyways... Let us... Fuck, so many nations I've... Uh, so I own so many nations at this point, that it's like hard to... Yeah, there we go, Montenegro. So you'll be a satellite... And then... Israel... I think, oh, look at that, oh man, Switzerland has a really nice monarchical flag. Speaking of, fuck, did I? No, he's absolute monarchy, good. Yeah, but I should also uh, click a -roo the button, ooh. Uh, create Yugoslavia, ooh. Mm. Don't think I want to do that. I will do that, though. And I guess I should, yeah, I, should, I should organize all these things. There we are. But yes, I wanted to do this. Oh, Treaty of Frankfurt. Frontier? No, no, no frontier. We own everything, that's the end of it. Come in. lose consciousness. Well, I'm not sure. I, I I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it. If some bullshit happens, then, like, I get some event where I have to restore the OG borders or something. I would not do. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't... I would totally create Yugoslavia to unite all the lads down here. But as that would um, take away land from Hungary, I'm pretty sure I do not want to do that. Because Hungary must stay united. Maybe if it was only Croatia being granted to the Yugoslavs, then I could go along with it, but... 
glorious Tartumani cannot be granted to the Yugoslavs, it must stay as an integral part of the glorious Hungarian kingdom. I have a bit of a fetish for these borders. Oh man, so good. Well, they should also have this, but it would look ugly with with the current situation. And also it's super German at this point because, you know, we did the whole population exchange. So, yes, uh, so that has now happened. Let us real quick get to war with Liberia. So that our dumbass African borders will look a little bit less dumb. Scandinavia did indeed decide to join. Part of me is a bit disappointed about that. Ooh, let's see if I can yeet my way in here. It's a bit risky, but... I guess I'm a bit of a frisky boy sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I can block... Oh, yeah. Block, block. Should have done that before, but yeah. Now that I... Uh, okay, go, 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 go. Oh, and he got across. Damn it. That uh, was a huge mistake. Though, now that that mistake has been done, I should totally um, ship some troops into Copenhagen. And, I don't know, pray that this army doesn't die. Please run away. <laughs> Yeah, we need more troops here. Holy shit, we do. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna... Lero Jenkins my way in here. Although I probably should bring an actual attack general. Yeah, hopefully he gets command. Um, okay, what the fuck? Why is there troops over there? Who knows? Secure Copenhagen. And also you retreat. This word's such a train wreck. I keep accidentally like attacking armies I really have no business attacking. Ah uh, that's not that's not good. Run! Run you man man! I definitely prefer being on the defensive. Didn't we have a defensive? Yep. Defense three. Ah oh, man no fun. I was attacked. Okay. Yep, he just remembered that this area exists. Uh in hindsight, it was rather silly of me not to block this straight crossing, but what are you going to do? I ended up having to go into the a defensive over here too, which sucks. Also, Georgia is in the war for some reason. Gods know why. And I can't even shit. Well, go over here then and help this battle wrap up quickly. So that we can support our other battles. Alright, so I'm actually going to puppet Georgia while I'm at this. I don't know why they're in the war, but if they are, then they will pay for it. That does also mean we can piece out these lands. So let's do that, incorporate them. And uh, we'll look, have a look at the war score and we'll see when we decide to add the, um, the dismantle Scandinavia goal. Which should be nice. No, that's not enough, you meme lord. Uh, yeah, I'm sending a force over to Georgia. Maybe this whole puppeting Georgia thing wasn't worth it, because I think our truce with the Ruskies is up. It is actually, although I guess I do need to fabricate. Although, probably should fabricate on some random shit that isn't actually a state, just to save time. Because it's not like I need to in or enforce it. Uh, free people, sure. Who knows, maybe, maybe the war score will work out in the way where... There will be some meme ass thing I can free, like Kamchatka, glorious Kamchatka independence or something, I don't know. It's super expensive to uh, dismantle, so I doubt we'll be dismantling the Russians in this form. I do hope I can dismantle the British though. That would be excellent. Uh, yeah, no, he wouldn't go along with that. And is it too much to ask for? Oh yeah, it's too much to ask for both of those. So we must secure Georgia the old fashioned way. Dude, I want both. It's weird that they just don't go along. Well, I mean, I guess they don't have the uh, ooh, minority building re restrictions, of course. Not sure if that assimilation shit actually matters, but whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're puppeting. Oh, many dreet. I should actually no, no, it wouldn't matter. But yeah, I can't actually peace out with Scandinavia until I have. Um, See, being as Russia, do I? 
Fuck, why didn't I start justifying on that earlier? Oof. Well, that was a bit stupid, yes? Especially considering I'll, I'll need to keep a lot of forces just sort of on the border or in Scandinavia while I wait for um, memes. Because I do also need to be ready for work Britain. I'm gonna have to do the whole meme uh, Scotland thing again. Part of me has been thinking about invading Ireland. Yeah, they're not actually allied, so most likely they won't join this war. Which means that... Uh, oh, wait, core integration? You don't have cores in Northern Ireland? Oh, you don't. Interesting. Hmm. You're working on it, though. And you'll probably get away with it, but yeah. That's the thing. And I might also have to mobilize for this, because the Russians for sure will mobilize. And while I haven't mobilized in quite some time, and I do not like mobilizing, it might have to be a thing that we do... Simply to get enough just bodies to throw at the um, throw at the Russians, because they still have a lot of population. I mean, this is not too far away from modern day Russian borders, right? Well, actually, no, it is kind of quite far. Yeah, I think all of this all of this stuff is Russian today. So I guess we have nommed ourselves quite well into them, but they still have like what 20 million people. I mean, it's like what four times the Spanish population, so it's quite quite significant, quite significant. Also, why are you allied with? I thought, what? Oh, forgot to add you to my sphere. Whoops. Although I might have... Okay, well, I guess we don't need to ban them. And are we getting into the Rotten Yeah, because I do want to... I, I mean, I don't want to fight the... Uh... Actually, I have a truce with you, don't I? I do. Which does mean that the whole border treaty meme with the Rotten Kosin Kingdom should work, shouldn't it? So I have a lot of random troops here that I should probably gather somewhere and ship them to Europe. Um, indeed. And Scandinavia has a troop here for some reason. I don't know how you got that guy over there, but you did. Points for effort, as always. Um, yeah, I also need to prepare my colonial... Like, this army is not capable of fighting the British. Also, did I actually forget to... I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to, forgot to release uh, Israel. Whoops. Oh, well, I'll do it... Um, I'll do it when we peace out with the Scandies. But we cannot do that quite now. We must wait just a bit. And actually, perhaps I send this army... Yeah. Actually, no. Send this army over here. Send the ships over here. Gather more troops. Send them to... Yep, 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 yep. But yeah, we could try the uh, Siamese border treaty. What? Well, I didn't actually want to declare on them. Damn it. Oh shit, piss. I don't have any army here, but the <laughs> oh, piss indeed, eh? <coughs> and America joints. What the fuck? They have a truce. They shouldn't be able to do that. Damn it, I need to invade Russia, not all this other rubbish. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I am an unironically intense moron. Fuck. Well, World War whatever has begun, I guess. Like, as we're fighting the Western powers, I'm also going to be starting up an Eastern Front. This is peak World War levels of shenanigans. <coughs> Although, I guess this does actually mean I can get away with piecing out Scandinavia. Which is actually a bit of an advantage, so... Also, why would I just cut them down? Wouldn't I want their land? Actually, are you uncivilized? No, you're not. Okay, well... But yeah, dismantle this bitch. Good. And brace for conflict with the Ruskis. The Treaty of Copenhagen. Alright, so we did indeed split up... Kind of split up Scandinavia? I'm not really sure why Sweden... Oh, no, no, no. The, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot Denmark formed them. So, yeah, so Scandinavia isn't still a thing, annoyingly enough. But Norway, Iceland, everyone is free. Finland. Ah, oh, glorious Finland. Vitt du satana de helvete. Karelia is free as well, hmm. Well, I did think about freeing Karelia at some point, so... This could be for the best. I guess I am justifying to free someone. So I guess I could make the war about freeing Karelia. Because I don't like this whole jutting up of Russian territory here. It looks fine, but meh. We'll take what we can, sure. 
don't think they have any colonies that I can think of, but whatever. Now then, do I even want to fight this? Can I pursue? Ah, presumably I can't buy peace now. Oh well. Um, I guess we need to send some dudes to meme land. Meme land. Meme land in this context being Indochina. Because this is a meme indeed that I'm forced to do this. So why do I still have all these rubbish ships? Yeah, something like that, and then all my transports, that should be enough. Although I kind of do need transports, don't I? <coughs> Fuck. And I guess we are sending troops over here, so... Maybe I should keep these transports in Europe, actually, for the sake of invading Britain. Which will become necessary, so yeah, we're keeping them in Europe. And hopefully, I mean, what kind of tech do you have? Ah, probably, he actually probably has pretty decent... Actually, no, he has shite tech. <laughs> We're gonna violate him pretty gloriously. This should be just... Yeah, no, we also have more troops over here, so... Oh, there we go. Education efficiency. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever I just got, I'm sure it was excellent. And that's a lot of dead Thai people. And the war just escalated. I guess the United States called their buddies in. Shame I don't have any buddies. Uh <laughs> Really? Fuck my piss. I was not expecting that. Oh shit. Um Oh, I'm not at war with Oh, okay. Hmm. This could be interesting. Um and potentially disastrous cuz I am mobilizing as we speak, but I am definitely not ready. However, I guess this does mean I can send all of these cunts to the Eastern Front and try and reinforce here, because I don't have to focus on Britain. I mean, honestly, like, this goes, that goes for this army too, it's no longer needed in Africa. We can yeet that over to the Crimea now. Um, yeah, we just committed war crimes, well, hopefully we committed some war crimes down here. And we are going to get some more troops, but damn, that's pretty spicy. I think I'm actually going to end the episode here, and uh, we'll have to see what the fallout of this shit is afterwards. I am justifying on the uh, on the Irish boys as of right now, because um, I was thinking about like invading the UK and then trying to sneak into Ireland while they weren't paying attention. Although I guess I can use invading Ireland in this instance as an excuse to invade the UK, potentially. Even if I really do not like that way of it. Hmm. Weird. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.